hi guys i just wanted to do a little update video i noticed that i have not updated in a long long time um as far as my dentures go so uh right now it's been two months since i had all my teeth extracted and my immediate dentures placed um the immediate dentures that they gave me at affordable dentures were just the economy um the permanent ones will be an upgraded one from that i believe i got the third from the top i don't remember what it was called premium plus or something um anyway uh since then um i've had a couple of bone spurs that i haven't made any videos about and i guess they were just tooth fragments that had came out that you know were left in the gums for some reason and um made their way out um the week one of the weeks that i had one of those affordable dentures near me was closed for the entire week which was horrible because that thing really hurts i ended up pulling it out myself um in fact both of them i ended up pulling out myself which immediately relieved the pain um i don't recommend doing that but you know sometimes you have to do what you have to do to be comfortable so um i did that uh about a week ago um my dentures were getting really loose and i figured it's probably time for a reline um, i've heard some scary stories about the relines at affordable dentures so i decided to do the reline at home first um which worked great i just used the reline it which was like 5.97 at walmart um you mix it together i watched some videos of people who kind of did it wrong um, I, I guess, I don't know if they did it wrong, but the way I did it, I pour in the, li the liquid first and then mix the powder in so that it doesn't start setting in the droplets that drop on the powder. Um, anyway, yeah, so I'd mix that up. You don't want to let it sit too long because it starts to harden. I tried to get it so I could pour it in and evenly get it placed throughout the denture and then stick it in. I did one at a time because then you have the other one to bite on without having to worry about oozing or anything on that one which i found works great um i had that like i said for about a week and then today was my appointment at affordable dentures to get my soft reline so i went in i peeled out my reline um on my way there and went in the material they use is a, i don't know it's a lot liquidier um, it's clear instead of pink. Um, it does dry pink though. Um, so they poured it in my denture, came in, put it in my mouth, had me bite down. Well, they said not to bite down too much because it'll squeeze out. Um, took them back. Then she brought back my bottom and had me redo my bottom without my top in, which I was thinking, how's this going to work? But whatever. Um, I'm not too happy with the reline work that they did. The one that I did at home was much smoother um, and more comfortable. This one's like, when you redo it at home, there's some that goes above the denture and then you just kind of trim it off. And it looks like they'd use the Dremel to try to trim it off. So it's real like choppy and there's no smoothness to it at all. Um, and then there's a couple spots in the denture where the material didn't get. And so there's like little holes where I know food's going to gather. Um, so I'm probably going to end up relining it myself. And I'll just keep using the, the, the at-home reliners because I guess when it's your mouth, you care a little more. And they don't have to wear this. They don't care if there's food getting stuck in there. Like... They ask, is it comfortable? Okay, get on your way. Like, that's what I've found with the affordable denture near me is they have way too many patients, so they don't have time to care. You're just a number, get you in, get you out. They got somebody else to see. So um, I do recommend the Reline It kit. The only one that I tried is just called Reline It, and it's at Walmart, like I said. Um, it does, it's kind of a tingly sensation or a burning, which is the same thing you have when you go to do it like the burning was probably worse at the affordable dentures than it was with the reline it kit um but as far as i can tell they're pretty pretty similar um as far as the end result 
Let me show you. Give me just a second. Let me pull out this denture. I want to show you what they did because when I first put this in, I was going, this feels weird. But when I first got my denture, I felt like a cartoon because I have this big, like, ridge hair. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but, or if it's something that I'm just conscious about. I don't know. So I, um, adjusted, had my dentures adjusted to accommodate for that. Well, now, Sorry, that's really gross. Um, though they've relined it, they put in, I'm gonna try to show you this here. Along the top here, they added all that reline material into the top section and it's bulky again. So, I am probably gonna remove that. <laughs> Like I said, I'm probably going to remove the whole thing. I'm going to give it a couple days to just give it a chance. See, I asked her about it when they did that. I said, oh, it feels huge up here again. What did you guys do? Why'd you make it go all the way up to my nose again? I mean, it goes all the way up there again. I can't. I can hardly do the little lipstick motion. Um, but she said that it will help it stay in better. Um, I never had a problem with it staying in once it was relined before. So... I'm probably going to cut it off because that's how I had it before and I was much more comfortable. But, um, yeah, that's my update on how my dentures are going. Um, it's gotten to the point where I can eat a lot more. Um, not everything. There's some things that you come across that's just like, eh, not today. Um, but pretty much everything. Some things I'll have to, like, eat with a fork instead of just biting it or um, break off pieces. But starting to be able to eat better um they're starting to feel more natural to where like you're not playing with them 24 7 because it's something weird in your mouth um they're starting you know you can kind of forget about them and then later like oh yeah it, it's not like constantly on your mind like it is in the beginning so um that's my progress at two months and yeah thanks for watching